Now to energy. The, the government's lease cell in the Permian Basin generating a billion dollars, shattering all records. Joining us now, Ryan Zinke, Secretary of the Interior. Where does the uh, money raised from these leases actually go? Direct to our Treasury. Uh, what I can tell you is that earlier I had said we would be the number one oil and gas producer in the world by third, fourth quarter. We made it last week. The United States is the largest producer of oil and gas in the world. But, uh, what does that translate into barrels? Are we at 11 million? Uh, a little over 11. Okay. We can go to 14, but we're all the above, too. We have a offshore lease on the East Coast. We're looking at the largest offshore lease. And basically, I don't want to ever be held hostage by a foreign entity or our energy needs. I don't want to send your kids, my kids, on foreign shores to fight for energy. And environmentally, it is best to produce energy in this country under reasonable regulation than watch it get produced overseas with no regulation. And of course, we know, uh, you know the billions and billions of dollars that we've sent overseas, some of it has gone into to, to dubious ventures, to be just to, Absolutely. to say the least. Uh, and, and the idea of the American job creation is what blows my mind. You know, on, on Friday, we had the production numbers, capacity utilization. You look at mining, you look at uh, drilling. It's, it's phenomenal. I mean, this is where it's driving these great jobs, isn't it? We are running on full octane, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, but Cooking energy, with gas, huh? Yeah, you, you look at commodities, you know, the, co the cost of steel is about the same as Pittsburgh as it is South Korea. But the driver in the economy is affordable, abundant, and reliable energy. Uh, all the above, but certainly an energy revolution. And those doubters have said, well, there, you know, there's no interest on federal lands on energy. If we do it right, big interest. And, and, you can, uh, and you can make sure that the environmentalists are, are taken care of. In other words, their concerns will be uh, appreciated and, and taken into account. We don't skip any NEPA. Well, what we do do is we make sure the energy portfolio is done correctly. Again, it is better to produce energy in this country under reasonable regulation than to watch it get produced overseas. And if you don't believe me, I'll take you on a tour of Africa and <laughs> the Middle East if you want to watch how energy no, should no, be No, no, no. We, we believe you. Real quick, too, before I switch topics, uh, liquid natural gas. Is there any way to speed up the process? here. Uh, I mean, the world needs our natural gas. It's an amazing market. Uh, you know, we, we get it so cheap here, we can sell it around the world for two, three, four times what we produce it here. Yeah, some of it is infrastructure, is mm -hmm. that our infrastructure... Can we speed up the permitting process? Can we get that going? It felt like there were a lot of roadblocks put in place under the last administration. Well, we're doing everything we can to streamline the process so you have one federal decision, you know, rather than different bureaus right. saying the other thing. And that's been... An enormous effort with the Trump uh, administration is I think we've unwound maybe 22 regulations for every one we put in. Right. And a, a lot of it has given certain to the market. As you point out, the liquid natural gas, I'm very bullish on it. Sure. Uh, you look sure. at, look at the, uh, how clean it is, how abundant it is in this country, and our allies also have a great demand for it. Absolutely. So. Uh, before you go, I do uh, have to ask you, uh, Mr. Secretary, about uh, Florence. Uh, the role that your department is playing in this, uh, you know, because we know it's, it's still <clears throat> in the process, right? Uh, we just heard Cape Fear, uh, the, the, the river is going to go up another 10, 10, uh, 10 inches or, or another foot, maybe. Yeah, and, and uh, Interior's role is a lot of a search and rescue, but the response is, we're, we're saying, look, look at your neighbors, because the response is local, state, and federal last. Uh, check in on your neighbors if you can. Don't cross rivers and streams. As a former SEAL, I can tell you when the water starts getting high, there's a lot of bad things in that water. Power lines, mm -hmm. alligators in some cases, <laughs> a lot of debris. So you don't want to get trapped. Right. But look at your neighbors uh, if, you, if you can. Help them. Make sure you call. Make sure uh, the law enforcement and first responders know where you're at. Uh, hopefully you have, have water in there. But this is going to, the water's going to rise. Sure. And we're out there doing search and rescue, uh, and the first responders are doing a great job. Well, congratulations. Great, yeah. great news. Uh, people don't know that oil and gas is an American story these days. I'm glad you're out there spreading the word. Congratulations. All the above energy. There you go. Made in America. <laughs> Thank you very much.